we actually have the ability to completely define where we go with technology right now. The rate at which things are progressing is completely unique among the annals of American history. As of right this second, the things that we do are the new findings that immediately affect where we might be in the next five or 10 or 15 years. With my fellow students at CIS, we all share a huge drive to change the world. We are the ones sort of developing the industry standard for what is cutting edge. Everyone has different motivations. Everyone has kind of a, a different drive that pushes them. But at the same time, we're all kind of united by this common interest in creating this next technological industrial age. Cornell CIS consists of three departments, computer science, information science, and statistics. Departments that define and lead the information age. We see ourselves as shaping the foundations of the information age. We see ourselves revolutionizing every field of inquiry. And we see ourselves training the leaders of tomorrow. Modern education has to incorporate computational information statistical tools. You're not going to be able to be a part of this world without being able to do some computing, without understanding how computers work. When I first came to Cornell, I knew I wanted to be in fine art, but also thought I'd want to be in computer science and psychology and business. I found out very quickly that the information science degree allows everything. It allows design, it allows computer science, it allows psychology, it allows business. I've sort of been able to sculpt the information science degree so I can prepare myself for jobs and for companies that don't yet exist, and more importantly, technologies that don't yet exist. Originally, computer science was focused on questions related to engineering and math. CIS is relevant to everything. It touches everything. It doesn't matter what field you're in. You could be in entertainment, you could be in biology, you could be in astrophysics. All those things are going to be using computing and information science. I tell my students this, this is the best time to be alive because you have this hope of solving these great problems. We're starting to get to the point now where we can not just solve problems that people were able to solve, but computers can solve faster, but solve problems that people can solve, but computers can solve better. We try very hard to create structures that cut across disciplines and across departments and across everything else. What I've really gained from my professors is a framework to think critically about these difficult technological problems. It's about asking, what am I making here? What am I making and how can I apply that to the world? And how is that going to change things? We start by taking a problem and starting to understand sort of the shape of it, how hard it is, what kind of things we know we have to do in order to solve it. We really focus on how can robots achieve an effect in the real world. I'm interested in the way in which the internet and other online media serve to connect us to information and also connect us to each other, to other people. We're taking smartphones and we're handing them out to patients with schizophrenia and then we're tracking their locations, sleep patterns, how much exercise we're getting and we're trying to build a model that'll help us predict when they're going to have relapses. Cornell Computer Science has brought me to a whole new level of how I think, how I interact with research, how I talk to other researchers, and how I come up with new ideas for what to do. We're the experts, and we have a responsibility to help the nation evolve in the right way, and that's our students who are going to be out there doing it. The fact that technology has grown so much has put us in a point where it gives anyone access to make something that could have a true impact on the world. We're training the students of tomorrow that are going to lead the industry that is going to be driven by the information age. As long as we can somehow leave a mark in the world that improves it, we're complete. And Cornell has actually given us the ability and the confidence to do that.